There once was a girl whose hair was a knot. Distresses of life filled the mind with sad thoughts. Sad thoughts of self-doubt, fear of self-worth. Sad thoughts that made her think, what's the point on this earth? The more that she thought of the woman she could be, the more she felt trapped in her castle, you see. But this castle was not the fairy tale kind. It was only made up in the back of her mind. No matter how hard she tried to escape, more walls in her castle always take shape. It was a maze full of anger and tears and depression and shame that stemmed from her fears. But then, one day, ten years ago, she vowed enough was enough and chose to let go. She vowed to take hold of her power within, turning pain into art for those who were akin. And hour by hour by hour by hour, she turned those sad thoughts into artistic power. She turned all her pain and her anger and fear into creations she'd make a proper career. As days turned to years, she grew with her art. She turned her pain to a gift from her heart. And with each piece of art that she gave to the world, the walls of her castle crumbled and curled. They fell down like dominoes, opening her mind to a new kind of thought. Thoughts that were kind. Some thoughts that gave hope to this girl that was sad. Some thoughts that made living not feel so bad. After years of self growth and proper self care, she felt it was time to let down her hair to untie those knots and reverse all those thoughts to create something special that connects all her dots. And with 10 years of work on her art and herself, she knew it was time for a book on your shelf. Yes, a book that might act as a beacon of hope for those two that were sad struggling to cope. After a decade of toil and care, it's finally finished and ready to share. Oh, she did it her way, the best way she could. She saved every penny to create something good, to create something lasting, impactful, and true, to create something raw that might help you too. This book is a window to a life full of love, a life that has meaning and one she's proud of, a life that fought back from the pain of her youth and used art as a way to express all her truth. And the truth of this book is we'll all rise above. And frankly, it's fitting that I call it Dear Love. Dear Love.